Hello and welcome back for episode 13. Curiosity, interest, and obsession. Okay. Markers on my road to damnation. On my road to damnation. All right, so we got some uh, cheap stress healing we can do, but we don't really have anybody who needs it, so we're going to ignore that. Plus, it's only one slot. Um, so last episode, we uh, had a pretty easy jaunt through the ruins and won a fortunate armlet for our leper, which will help a lot with getting him to actually hit. If we can combine this with... Um oh, let's unequip. Uh, if we can combine the leper trinket with the... Um, where is it? The Book of Relaxation. We're going to have a really, really lucky, relaxed, diseased individual who will be able to hit quite easily. And we'll hope that they maybe have a slightly better chance to get a critical hit, which would be fantastic. The dodge doesn't really matter too much. And the stress of these two items counter each other. So I think it's it's a pretty big windfall uh plus 12 accuracy for um and plus one crit for minus four dodge which as you can see our lepers already don't have any dodge so there's no there's no real reason why we should care at this point we're not we're not boosting our dodge with antiquarians or man-at-arms or anything so um it's quite nice uh what we've got going for us um so let's go ahead and do our due diligence and check our uh, stagecoach for some um, some heroes. It looks like the Arbalist could be good. The the one percent crit is not bad. Antiquarian is at least he's at least good. Um, the speed is nice. Damage is worthless. They don't do any damage. This abomination could be good, being a little bit tankier, and the grave robber is might as well have no abilities at all because neither of these are going to affect the game at all. Um, all right, let's see. We've got a lot of um, deeds, so let's go ahead and... I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going with the barracks. Uh, alternatively, once again, we could we could grab both level 1 and level 2... Or I mean, level 1 weapons and armor. Um, we're, we're climbing in gold. I'm happy about that. So we're going to stay the course. We're going to get a bigger roster. We're going to grab the Arbalist. We're going to grab the Antiquarian. And you know what? We're grabbing everybody. They're all... None of them are trash. They're just not great. Neither of these are good. I mean, they're, they're okay. Like, that's decent. And that's decent. That would be nice for a, for a leper. Right, because they don't have any dodge to start with, but we're not worried about that. Um, yeah, so we're just we're filling up our roster with uh, random scrubs for now. Like I said, at least they're not trash. This we can ignore. Let's just see what we've. Okay, so we could upgrade. We could upgrade either the guild, which requires. Okay, so we might as well break down the building upgrades real quick. Um, for those of you, once again, this is, this is for the people who, um, may or may not have played this game before. So the guild with the Reddit upvotes on top, um, yeah, we're not going to start there. So we'll look at the simplest ones first. The Nomad Wagon upgrades with crests only, okay? That's what you're going to get the most of. They're, I think of them almost like currency. Um, I mean, these are all currency, but... These are, like, going to be used on everything, and you're going to get the most of them. So Nomad Wagon is a crest sink, as well as the Survivalist Camp. They're both places uh, to sink your leftover crests on. Um, busts are used in the Sanitarium and the Abbey. The Abbey is for uh, stress relief activities, similar to the Tavern, but it uses busts instead. And the sanitarium is for cleaning up diseases and for locking positive quirks and getting rid of negative quirks. So this is actually, we're going to want to start upgrading this soon because I think we're getting to the point where we're going to want to start really keeping characters and maybe shaping them to be uh, champions. 
So portraits, which we have the most of right now, are used in the tavern, which think of it as an, as an analog for the abbey, more stress relief. Um, they're used here, as well as in the guild for upgrading combat skills, which is which is nice and actually pretty cheap. We might want to consider. I think we're going to. I think we're going to get these. Um, but let's finish our uh, our walkthrough. Um, the deeds, arguably the most important early game uh, heirloom, is used for the stagecoach, which is where I focus my attention. So seeing a larger amount of people in the list each each week, and also holding a larger amount of people in your roster, which I love. It's it's great for flexibility having. So many heroes um, gives you a lot of uh, strategic leeway on how you want to tackle a mission. Right now, we've got a ton of level zeros. I'd say about half, maybe a little bit less than half level zeros. So they're going to suffer more stress on their first couple missions. At least they start with stress. So the other the other place for deeds is the blacksmith, which is extremely important um, and we haven't given it any love lately but basically you have this is how you get better weapons and better armor and that I mean these are level three heroes so they're better but they are using just the the worst gear possible so their their dodge and their health is affected by armor I think maybe something else is too for certain classes. And their damage, their uh, speed, and their crit, I guess. Is that the same for all? I think it is. So, yeah. Those are affected by weapons. So, very, very important if you want to take out strong parties on your missions. And, and just have a better chance. But these things require investment. You, you, you have to... Similar to the upgrading combat skills, you're investing in a hero... And so if we have a character like Rosie Deriveter, who we might seem, we might feel a little bit of affinity for, um, considering what she did for the war effort, and just how long she's been with our party. Um, but the fact that she has rabies, that would cost money to remove. She has a bunch of things that don't really, that aren't, these two things are just not, not good at all for a Vestal. So we wouldn't really want to dump money into her because the amount it would take to get her back to a decent, being a decent character, ignore that she's level 3. The amount that it would take to get her back to being a, just a decent base class Vestal would be probably not worth it. So we would want to hopefully find a better Vestal, such as maybe Thoral has a lot more room for growth and she's already looking good, uh, except for she's lazy. Um, Thoral the Sloth. Um, we we want to consider bringing up a new Vestal through the ranks to replace Rosie because she's just not cutting it. Han Solo, he's a bit he's a bit goofy too. Um, we might just because he's Han Solo, we might eventually want to get rid of Off Guard and keep him around. He is one of the first two heroes along with King Arthur. So, we, we might be able to justify spending some extra money on them later. Anyway, that's a little bit of, I guess, theory behind, um, yeah, what you want to do. It, these, it, Blacksmith is incredibly important, and so is the guild. In fact, we're going to upgrade the guild right now. Um, has a we're going to go with this one, rather, rather than getting to... Ooh, fact... Yeah, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna be able to upgrade our skills real cheap. To master the brutal arithmetic of combat. And so let's not forget to do that before we set out. Um, skills are slightly cheaper to invest in than the actual armor. Although level 1 armor and level 1 weapons is not that expensive. Ooh, so this... Oh my gosh, it might be time. We might have to take on the Necromancer. Uh, let's see what else we've got. So the Man-at-Arms eye patch, okay. Stun Amulet is decent. Yeah, I like it for throwing on someone who who we know is going to be, like, our stun person. That's just... Yeah, that's... I mean, it's not bad. That's good for a... Um, 
an abomination who you keep in. It'll be he'll be decent for uh, being in his first stage, and it comes with deeds. But I I am really I'm really interested in this Vestal Scroll, so I think it might be time that we head on out and kill the Necromancer. And it it's a it's a bit unfortunate that we don't have the blacksmith upgraded, but that's that's our own doing. So let's see who we're taking on this. Did we already sort by level? Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, so I think you're probably going along with us, Bordell. Uh, it would be nice if we had a, a Plague Doctor. We do not. Um, okay. Thoral the Sloth. The speed is is uh, killer right now. That's that's not gonna be good. Hodine, you're going, for sure. Um, we want someone who can hit... What, maybe, do we want one of these guys? Eh. Okay, we're going to want someone who can hit the back line. Lulier, um, I'm tempted to not take you because of the rabies. It's a bit of a liability. Um... We could take Greedo or Dufay. I think we'll probably take Dufay. Alright, so you're going in the third position. You can hit everything except Uppercut. That's good. Okay. And then we're going to grab either Face B or Thoral. Now the speed, I'm not so sure about. You, but you're only going to have half your skills. Well, we can fix that. So we're going to throw you in there, Face B. And um, we're going to go ahead and do a little tinkering here at the guild. Uh, all right, so let's sort by activity, get all of our adventures to the top. Hodin, are you worth upgrades? I think you are. You're a slugger. You've got quick reflexes. These aren't so bad. We can, we can uh, deal with them later if we need to. So we're not worried about investing a little bit in your... Chop and hue. We can leave the others. I mean, they're, they're just tiny changes. So, Bordell, similarly, you're decent. I like the 10% damage, so we're gonna, we're gonna say that you're worth a little bit of an upgrade. Let's do them all. And this is good. We might want to rearrange our party so that he starts a little farther back. I think that's uh, arguable. Um, we're gonna do collect bounty, and we're gonna do finish him. And face B. Oh, you're level zero, so you can't upgrade. But we could give you better skills. I think. You know, okay. Well, fear of the unholy is is no bueno. That's gonna be tough for the fight. So I guess we are gonna have to roll with face B for this one. Um. I think, okay, so this is going to be a little bit more expensive, but we're going to grab Divine Comfort. Okay, I get it, yeah. And we'll also get Dazzling Light for you. I'm reluctant to spend, spend 1400 on a hero that um, likely won't make it, won't prove herself through the gamut. Alright, so... We've got everybody. Can we hit the back line? A little bit. Not as much as I'd like. So we're actually going to start you in the back. So that you can get the Holy Lance off. You'll move up. And the Bounty Hunter will move back. That's good. You can still hit from that position, so that's great. Um, I think we're ready. Let's, let's just give this our best shot and see where it takes us, right? So... All right, uh, let's let's go back so that I don't accidentally embark. We're gonna equip first. Okay, unequip sort by rarity. Blah blah blah. Okay, we wanted that and we wanted the book of relaxation. So you have a lot of accuracy and a decent amount of crit. That's good. Um, Bounty hunter, do you have any bleed skills? I don't think you do. So we don't care about the bleed. Really, we don't need the bleed stones on anyone this run. Um, so let's go with the surprise. 
and uh, we'll give you a little bit more dodge. We can have you tank a little bit. I think you you don't have the tanking ability, the the one that marks yourself, the bulwark. But we're gonna give you that anyway. And I think the next best thing would probably we could either give you more protection, just really stack it up, or we could give you some less stress. Um, I think we probably go with the stress. And then you get stress and. Um, Let's do protection. I don't think it will. No, we'll do we'll do the speed. Yeah. All right. So we've got you with two different heals. That's good. All right. Let's let's do this. Let's see how this goes. I think we can handle it. So we are not going to skimp. We want the extra food as possible heals to mitigate any. Um, uh, mitigate any damage we take before the fight. Uh, we'll grab a little bit of holy water. Three shovels is probably more than enough. Two keys. And once again, we're not going to skimp. I like it. Alright. And the reason I'm only bringing this many torches, which is still probably more than enough, is because... life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? All right. The devil walks these halls. Only the mad or the <sighs> desperate go in search of him. So the reason I only bring that many torches which is once again probably more than enough is because we're gonna we can surmise where the boss is probably um this might be a bit tricky but it's going to be farthest away from the spawn so i mean even if this room weren't lit up we would know he wouldn't be there so one two three four five six one two three four five six so um this is a tricky situation because he could be here or he could be here. We don't know. So we're going to we're going to gamble that he's here. And uh, we'll check there first. And hopefully we get a scout a scouting um, on the room before it so that we can know for sure. Alright, we are going to burn a key already, see what see what we get, and we already can't take stuff. Okay, that's fine. Fifty gold, no big deal. Uh, crack a torch, and head on in here. Awesome, that could have been annoying. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get a kill on either of them. So we're going to weaken him, hopefully, when we did hit, and make it so that the Holy Lance can get him, pick him off. Guaranteed, or maybe we could just kill the bone courtier. Courtier. Uh, let's let's go for the kill. Let's see if we get it, and we did not. It is what it is. All right. We're going to go for the kill on the skeleton. He hasn't gone yet, so it would be nice if we just wipe his damage off. Alright, so that's a guaranteed kill if he hits. 80% chance almost. And that's pretty pretty darn close to a guaranteed. So, let's go for that and miss. Excellent. Well, at least we got a nice dodge out of it. Can't complain. Alright, we're going to go for the kill again. That's good. Alright, redeemed. Okay, a little bit of stress, a little bit of bleed. And we could have purged as well to get uh, the Bone Courtier up close and personal, which we probably should have, but let's just finish him off. Might have been a little bit of a misplay. Let's see, because now we have to work through this stuff. Let's hope for the... Yeah, there we go. All right. Get him right up close and personal. 
prevent him from using his um, stress attacks. Although I think he still can. And we're going to go ahead and throw out a heal. Because Hodin has taken some damage already. And let's go ahead and hew. Because why not? And we can't carry the extra food or the money. So that's fine. So we'll reset our position so that Crusader can... Oh, hello. Oh, 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 that was close. Righty. More gold. Wow, we'd have, what, 200 gold now if we'd been collecting it? That's just it's the price you pay. I'm surprised we surprised them. Everyone's surprised. That was a dim light surprise. All right. Um, you haven't taken any damage. We're going to, instead of healing... We're going to just try and get rid of them as quick as possible. We might even want to stun. Hmm. Nah, let's just do some damage. Maybe uh, the bounty hunter can finish him off now. And can we heal? No, we don't want to try it. We're going to finish you off. And not do the trick. Alright, well. A little bit overkill, but we had the insurance. It's better than just... Uh, shifting him up with the move. So. Okay. That's fine. They can both do their job. So we're definitely going to hew now because he's dead. This advantage. Give them no quarter. And let's go ahead and throw out a heal. Excellent. That'll almost top him off. That's exactly what I wanted. And now we don't have any reason to not finish this off. So let's just go ahead and do it. Oof. It's getting expensive to not take these, um, this gold, so... Um... Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the herbs. Probably shouldn't do that. Probably should not be greedy on such an important mission. I'd rather save the medicinal herbs for debuffs or curios, but... What's done is done. What is dead cannot die, or whatever. Okay, this is our last key. Let's hope... I mean, it'd still be nice to get a, a secret room. Ah, uh, that's fine. We'll leave it. Um, it'd still be nice to get a secret room. Because you can get loot from it even if you don't have a key. Uh, but I, it would still feel bad. Knowing what could have been. But never more. Okay... Oof. So we scouted all the wrong... I mean, this is good. We have combat between both places, so I don't know what the rules are for... Whether there's the boss is going to likely behind, be behind more battles or less or what. Alright. Ah. We're going to leave the busts. I hate to do it. It's just not as big of a priority right now. And let's go. Let's go with our in original initial plan and uh, go ahead over here. And we'll check our camping skills. There's kind of two ways you can play it. You can camp beforehand to get battle preparation skills going. Or you can camp afterwards to deal with the stress that you've dealt with for the fight. Alright, we want to miss you. Okay. So if we get a scout on this room, and it turns out to definitely be... Um, tough call. I think we go for this one. It's a little bit softer. Anyway, if we get the scout on this room, and it is the boss, we'll probably want to camp here, just to ensure that we can use our battle abilities, our buffs before the fight. Alright, let's go for the guaranteed. Not guaranteed. What am I saying? Obviously not guaranteed. Um, let's take less damage. Not as worried about stress. Our stress is pretty darn good. Okay, the next play for Leper is for sure going to be Hugh. 
We're going to throw out a heal on the bounty hunter. Keep our party high. Good, good. Alright. Do some damage to him so he has a chance to kill or not. Wrong crit. Wrong crit. And uh, let's try and stun you. Pretty likely. And we might want to consider purging him. We're going to do a party heal. Or, you know what, we could just uh, miss you and waste our turn. Okay, if we do parge... Per, 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 yeah. Bring the Bone Courtier up front where he's in range. Not sure why I don't just finish this guy off. He does get to go, so let's just do it. Let's just play safe, take less damage, and uh, then you can stun him, and we'll just reset the turn order. Maybe get a free party heal out of it, which would be excellent. Um, let's see, are you going to kill? It's likely. So we'll, uh, we'll mark you. No. Yeah, we'll mark you, because I'm pretty sure we can get the kill. You're going to be stunned anyway. We'll get a party heal out. That's what we want. We're close to the fight. Um, I would like it if my um, Vestal, who has higher speed than you, could go. That would be really nice. Okay, that's pretty much what I thought. Alright, let's get the party heal of one. Wow. And uh, let's go for the hack. The chop. Chop two. Okay, uh, we do want this ruby. Um, so we'll chuck... Do we chuck the busts? Do we chuck the portraits? Do we take some more money? I think we do. We just upgraded our uh, guild. So we're we're in a pretty good spot for the guild. We're not going to need those immediately. Okay, this is excellent. So this is the boss. So let's see if we want to um, camp. We got accuracy and dodge. Plan takedown. He is he is big, I think, so that's good. Um, yeah, I think we do it. I think we camp. It's gonna make it. It's gonna make us less inclined to continue too much farther in this dungeon, but it'll free up an inventory slot, and we can really, close really prepare safely, or uh, and, and to ensure that we that we get this um, this dude. So we're going to do plan takedown for sure. I think that he's a big, big uh, character. I don't know for sure. Alright, so we'll prevent the nighttime ambush. And we will bless. You've already got a nice accuracy buff and some damage. So we're going we're gonna to buff um, our Crusader, who, who probably has the... The least accuracy. You've got decent accuracy. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and bless the Crusader. He'll have accuracy and dodge. Plus, we don't want to really... We don't want to add dodge to the Leper. Because even though it says zero dodge, it's minus four with Trinket. Right? So, it's going to it's gonna give us plus ten dodge. But then it's going to take that four away. So it's only really plus six, so I think we get the most out of it if we do it this way. Let's go ahead and sleep with no fears. Remember to resort our party. And we go... And without doubt, we kill the Necromancer Apprentice. And we get that Vestal Healing Scroll, which we so badly need. All right, you big goober. So the stun's really not going to do much. He's, it's very unlikely for it to actually hit. So we'll go ahead and uh, throw out the judgment for some damage. Just start working on him. 
definitely want to chop him while he's in our range. I can't tell if he counts as big. He looks big to me. I mean, he's, you know, 30% uh, 33% bigger than this guy. So, uh, I'm inclined to think that he is big. It just doesn't say it anywhere. Um, alright, we're gonna do some damage on you. We'll kill the skeleton with someone. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, whatever. Um, we're gonna keep damaging you. And we'll take care of this bone soldier, probably with the leper or... The flesh is not willing. Okay, now that okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep damaging him. We need to get rid of these skeletons though. But we've got our smiter up front now. There we go. There's one down, and let's smite the other one. Excellent. The perfect amount. And actually I didn't even think about this before. This was unplanned, but um, the leper has purge, so. We're going to do that. We could just kill him right now, but we're going to purge. Hopefully knock him back behind the the Necromancer, and uh, let's go ahead and throw out... Let's see. One to two for everyone. I think this is probably better. We'll throw it on the, the Leper because he has less dodge. Excellent. Now we can start smacking him. Let's see. You do more damage against Marked. Let's go ahead and mark. Let's go ahead and mark. Probably should have done that first thing. And, uh... Yeah. Let's see if we can get both of them. Nice. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're not too worried about health. Everyone's doing fine. So we're gonna just speed this up as much as we can. That was a good hit. Upper range. Now we're going to want, want to probably heal a little bit. Glad he keeps summoning his Bone Rabble there. Quite easy. Um, so we'll hew and hope for the kill. Executed awesome. Impunity. It's going pretty good. So we get a Collect Bounty, which will do almost double damage. So I guess that would have been 7. or I mean uh, 9 or 8, I suppose as it were. Um, and we could try and clear the rubble. But we're going to go for the hit. Let's just get him out of here. And once again, I mean, this isn't much of a threat, so we're going to we're going to keep we're going to keep hitting him. He's going to be gone soon. One more hit of some sort. Everybody in the party can hit him. This should be it right here. Nice job, Dufay. Even the dead. Excellent. Alright, and we got two trinkets, which are probably, I imagine they're very common, so they're worth like 750 each, something. So we'll hang on to those for now. I don't think we have any open slots. We do not. And let's go ahead and keep exploring a little bit. We've got excellent uh, stress levels. Health could use some love. Um, you know, oh, we don't get the Vestal Trinket until after the <laughs> after the mission is over. That's the way it goes. Just, it's got to be like this. Alright. Let's go here. Oh, yes. We want to do that, and we also want to rearrange our party. Okay, we've got this. We know that this does... Well, it doesn't matter what it does, because uh, Bordell has taken it upon himself to stress himself out by confessing to his horrible sins in the booth. Like a good Catholic... Alright, this should be cakewalk. I don't like you. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. No. We're gonna heal and hope for the best. Okay, well now the Crusader is useless for his turn. He won't be able to holy lance anything because there's nothing left. So that's uh an interesting argument for maybe not having him with such low speed. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and heal up. Crusader could use a little bit of lovin'. And miss that. Fine, and then crit. Hit, miss that, crit that. 
All right, and we can carry everything. Let's check out the sarcophagus. A handsome reward. Okay, I'm fine with leaving 25 gold. Performed. That's very little opportunity cost. And let's resort, even though it's not working amazingly so far. Um, all right. Citrine. It's a tough call. We're gonna... I don't see any... I don't see any barricades, and we don't have very long um, left to go, so we can always quit if we need to. So the shovel's, you know, just extra weight, I guess, is what I'm saying. Alright, no stress. We're at the end of the mission. We want to minimize stress. Health is totally fine. We could all end the mission on two health left and it would not matter because they heal when they go back to town. A powerful blow. You know, you did. Okay, we'll go for the... Maybe the guaranteed kill, and it's not. I don't know why I keep using the term guaranteed, because it's clearly not, and that was bad. Okay, all right, we're not gonna do the Holy Lance trickery anymore. It's just not, it's just not working out. And we will heal the leper. Okay. Carry everything. Ugh. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Okay, it's fine. It's only 125 gold in the key. We're okay. Do we have any bandages? Let's see, that's two damage. Yeah, we're gonna use them. That way it'll feel less uh like less of a penalty when we throw away a stack of three bandages versus versus just uh, five. Oof. You guys are killing it. All right, at least someone can hit the enemy. All right, we're gonna zealous accusation. And that was beautiful. Blah. Okay. And what the heck. Anti-venomate. And... Heal yourself. Ugh. Oh, more anti-venom? Oh boy. Okay, we won't be able to carry either of these. Um, let's see, do we have... Let me scroll up. Okay, we, we could go do some more battles. Let's see. I think the torches are fine. Let's take that. Um... Let's keep, let's keep the equipment still. Um, I mean the curios, I mean the provisions, the supplies? Camping supplies, uh, stuff. Okay, we don't want to risk this. Yeah, we do. Okay, and just scrub that off, no problem. All right, eat, eat and heal up, excellent. We don't have any torches, so we're going. Ooh. Let's see if we can get some loot from these fights and not get surprised or shuffled. Excellent. I like how the one party, the one fight where I don't leave Bordell, our Crusader, in position three when his Holy Lance could really shine. As, yeah, he's in position. You know what I mean. Um. Yeah, let's go for the kill. Eradicated. Subpar damage there, Bordell. Might as well use another bandage. And, uh... Maybe we get lucky! We don't! At least we're still healing. Okay. You're done. 
And uh, let's go ahead and purge. Because he's not going to be able to do anything anyway. Bring these guys up close. And we'll stun you. Because you're the la you're not going to be able to kill him, probably. So we'll stun you. We'll get out some more heals. Maybe get a lucky crit heal. And then, um, please crit. <laughs> Cri critical failure, maybe. Um, at least it wasn't an occultist heal where we have the typical zero heal for zero and um be wary triumphant pride precipitates the heal for zero and the bleed all right so we're going to get rid of bandages and anti venom grab these okay easy fight we're going to be able to hew these two down and between the three of the back line we'll just between the two of the back line. Excellent. Alright. Now we heal and call it a wrap. And we'll check out this bookshelf. Oh boy. Alright, um. At least promises success. We'll grab the crests and. We, you could get even better, really. Like, you're looking pretty dang good. And we, can't, we, we like this, except for the praying, we've already invested in Face B, the granddaughter of Bagface. So she could definitely roll the dice for a quirk, a positive quirk, but we'll have you do it. And they're doling uninteresting, doesn't matter. And why not go into this room, whatever. We're, we're done, we got it. The Necromancer Apprentice is no more! And the real... Sweet deal for this uh, for this run was the Vestal Scroll, which makes her stun skill terrible, gives her less speed, but the healing skills, the healing skill bonus is quite incredible, and the stress is nice too. And we got a, a goodly amount of uh, crests, a few busts, and a lot of gold. So, all right, what do we got? Clotter, okay. Not good. Fine. Let's see if we got any events. No I events. Lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good one.